Hello, I'm Taylor, and welcome to Carping It Right. Today I'm down in Bushy Park, fishing on the Lega Mutton Pond. I've had my rod out for uh, about 20 minutes now, not seen much, but hopefully they brings along the fish. Um, I'm going to take you through my rigs in a sec, and also my bait, but for now just check out the view of this lake. Isn't it fantastic? Look how calm the water is. It's blazing hot today. Hopefully later on I can show you some fish moving about, but at the moment I can't really see anything. It's absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of trees for margin fishing. That's a really good spot over there. But unfortunately that guy doesn't know what he's doing because he was, he's not margin fishing there, but that's where all the fish hide. So in just a sec, I'm just going to show you my bait first. And yeah, I'm just going to show you my bait. And then later on, I'll show you my rigs. So the bait I'm using for this session is maple cream nut mix. All right, I haven't. Re I hope this is the first time me using it, and I haven't. I don't know what it's like. I've heard. I heard that a few people have got forties from off this. Let me just get a handful out. And lovely, lovely. They smell gorgeous as well. Yeah, only if you could smell them, they're just fantastic. These have been in the freezer, haven't really been defrosted yet, but I'm leaving them out. Left like like 40 of them out just to, so they can defrost on my mat. But yeah, that's the bait I'm using, just on a simple hair. Just one of these, no, no like sweet corn or anything to top it off, just simple then. And I've put about 15 of these out just in the spot and throw out a bit of halibut pellet just to get them munching around. Yeah, so so just in a sec I'm just gonna show you the rig, so yeah. Right, so the rig I'm bring, the rig I'm using for this session is a ring blowback rig with a simple hair. I'm just putting one of these on the hair there. So as you can see the ring is just there, which enables it to blow back which helps um, kick into a fish's mouth and catch hold. Also the shrink tube helps it kick round. And then I've got a supple bit of braid here, so it enables it to help it kick round even more. And then I've got a coated bit, which makes it sink better. And then it's just attached to a simple swivel. Just a simple swivel. Yeah, and that's the rig I'm using for the session. Hopefully later I can show you a cracking fish. Right, I've just bagged the fish. Sorry I didn't get to show you it, but... It, he's a lively one, he was. So I just slipped, slipped that back. Now I'm just waiting for another bite. I'm going home in a couple of hours. Yeah, he was nailed on a... That oily I showed you earlier with tipped off with a bit of orange corn. Um, yeah, hopefully I can bag another one. I'm absolutely gutted. Just lost the fish. Barbless hook. It's barbed hook grow on here. But I don't think it was that reason. So I just changed my tactics. I've done a running lead. And I've put a tube blowback rig instead of a ring blowback rig. Because I don't think he hooked very well, either. So, yeah, I've just flicked it back out there. Put a few halibut pellets around it, because that seems, that seems to be kicking them off. Yeah, let's see if I can actually nick one before I go, because I've got, like, I've got an hour now. So let's see, one, see if I can nick one and show you guys. Well, it's coming up to the end of my session now. I'm just starting to pack up. So before I sign off, I'd just like to say... Thanks for watching. Please tell your friends about Carping It Right. Um, please subscribe. Go on my Facebook page and like. And hopefully I'll see you on the bank sometime.